guys, let's talk about heating the cabin. So original game plan was to use my inline battery heater. Um, I have a couple of them, so I was gonna run a battery heater. Um, thought maybe that would be enough um, high voltage current to basically heat the water up, uh, send that into uh, the factory cabin where the heat exchanger was for the original um, heat and air conditioning system and realized that that probably wasn't the best idea. Um, I think a good strategy, but I really kind of want to stay away from using water. Um, there's other alternatives that I've recently found um, for cabin heat that sm like the smart car and other electric vehicles use, and that is just a high voltage um, heater that's, that's basically going to run on high voltage DC current. Um, so let me show you guys kind of what I'm working with right now. As you can see that this is the air conditioning system for the S2000. This would be under the dash. This would be where the air conditioning lines would go. And then you have your blower with your fan right here. And we got the center cartridge that diverts the air all different directions. The little tubes like this would go um, down to your driver's side feet. And then this is the old heater core. So basically what you're looking at here is I just separated this piece, split it in half, and this was the old um, heat exchanger where your heat lines would go in and out right here. And then you have the exchanger that would be right here. And what I did was I just literally separated it, pulled it apart, and then now the goal is to be able to further remove it from this section and then run this electric unit right here. So this electric unit was from, I believe, a smart car. It's pretty small. Um, there's the high voltage connector right there. So this would basically go on one of my high voltage contactors in my high voltage box and it would get switched on. Um, I'll figure that out, but I'll probably use like some kind of a factory control. And I guess for now, that's kind of the game plan. So I'm gonna to try to get this breaking apart like a little bit more um, and see how easy it's gonna to be to actually try to fit this electric heater in the place of where my water heater used to be. So uh, wish me luck. All right, so the very first thing that I'll talk about is the air conditioning. So this is a Tesla AC compressor and we will get bit back to this a little bit later. I have not tested this yet, so I don't really know too terribly much about it. So let's just put that aside for now. Um, what I am working with right here is, here is my S2000 climate control setup. So I have my, um, this is basically my heat source. And then these are all my direction of the traffic of air uh, throughout the vehicle if you wanted it on your feet or the windshield etc we have a recirculation so that would basically use um, cabin air versus if you hit it it could be outside air so through a filter from the outside or just what's already existing in the cabin and then we have an AC button so that'll be able to activate our compressor when we finally get around to that and this is our fan um, speed up and down. So basically I'm gonna focus on this today. I've made a small wiring harness that runs over to, if this looks familiar to you guys, this is the distribution where it would go up on the windshield, it'd go down to your feet, et cetera, et cetera. So this blows, this is like an air diversion valve, goes every which way. That would then be hooked up to these two pieces. On the right side we have our fan. There's a blower in there, fan, fan relay, and this is our heat box basically. So this is, this is going to um, air mixture. So it's gonna end up, you know, either blow, it blows past or it blows through. And what I've done is I've taken an electric, if you can see right here, this is the electric heating element. And you can see there's an orange plug right there. That's for the high voltage. So if you look, we have it hooked up to our packs right here, which are live. And this is about 360 volts. So I have um, all these battery packs daisy chained together to kind of simulate what we would be seeing in the car. 
there's no like battery management or anything on here right now this is literally just being used as a test jig for this system so the next thing that we're going to look at is our high voltage relay or contactor um, I'm kind of trying to stay away from this because I don't want to like bump it or anything like that I'm being really careful um, but this is just for a demonstration to show you guys so you can see that that is the the most positive on that side with a red and then our most negative is back there and then we have our positive that has a little fuse contactor they're they're disconnected right now and this is basically a relay so this is the plus and the minus on our relay and then this power wire goes to our orange connector right there so we have that wired up just in a standard uh, relay fashion there's a temperature sender right here which we're not using right now and then we have um, a little wiring harness that I built quickly just to control the air mix and the fan and all the the um, diversion between outside and inside air so let me go ahead and connect all this really quick with our little 12 volt battery supply and some alligator clips and I'm going to show you guys in one second um, kind of how the system works. Alright so I hooked up the 12 volt supply so we should be good to test our um, climate control. Let me uh, show you guys what's going on real quick. I have my alligator clips here positive and negative. I just went ahead and hooked up negative and then that's connected to our battery pack. And what I can do here to kind of give a little test is I'll just flip that on and let's see if we can hear this fan spinning. So that's spinning right now. If we wanted to test a little bit, like I could do a recirculation, click that, and then you can see the doors move. I don't know if you guys caught that. Let me close it down. And it's closing. So that closes. And if we go to temperature, this, this valve will actually move. And what's moving is inside of here. It's shutting down or opening up. So you can see that that opens and you can feel, I could feel the blowing of the air. It's pretty good. All right, and then I can just show you really quick that the air conditioning lights up. Nothing's connected right now, but it lights up. Um, I can control the speed down. And then if I wanted to divert the, um, the air, I don't know if you guys can see that or hear that, but everything's moving. It's pretty cool. It's exciting. So now I'm going to hook up the high volt. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the heater. Um, that's going to be on our high voltage, and I'm going to use the contactor. I am going to activate that contactor with 12-volt um, switch power. So let me um, show you guys what that's all about. All right, I wanted to show you the click, so you'll hear it. And that's the uh, contactor clicking and switching on our high voltage. So let me um, secure that real quick. Okay, so that's now secure and it is starting to heat up. My doors are down and I am starting to feel heat coming out right now. It's pretty cool. It's working. So basically, that is how I'm going to do the HVAC system on the S2000. All right, guys, I hope that uh, you were able to see what I was doing. Um, hopefully it made sense pretty much what, you know, what the goal and objective was of this video is to just kind of show you guys my testing procedures. Uh, the last thing that I want to do is to put this whole system in, you know, behind the dash and then have an issue where I can't get to something um, or if I did something incorrectly. Um, that would kind of suck. So I wanted to make sure that it was working, that it wasn't, you know, 
that it wasn't something different than I thought. You know, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't really know exactly what to expect. And this was kind of my first time doing this, like I've said, and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I have a couple little questions of ways to like activate the system properly and I'm going to be addressing that but at least I know now how it works and what things I need to address and that the system and the, the contactor for example is the right one etc etc so I'm pretty happy with this and hopefully you guys um, can take in some of this info and learn from it so thanks peace